Hello, this is Peter Phelps of Phelps 3D, and in this FreeCAD 016 tutorial, I'm going to discuss some of the issues with trying to create a rather complex object based on a path. So, the first thing we're going to do is go into Part Design Workbench, we have a new document. I'm going to create a sketch. And I'm going to say yes, X, Y, plane, OK. And what I'm going to do is create a sketch that has a couple of lines here. And Hit escape. Okay. Use the endpoint 3.1. It's easier for me. Click on that. Click, make sure it's highlighted. Click on this one. And make a little bend. Click this. Come out here. Get another bend. So, so. Funky looking ass. Now I'm gonna close. And switch to my 3D view. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a copy of that. Control C, Control V. Whoops. That was and copy it. So control C, Control E. Then I'm going to take this one down here. And I'm going to move it this is about ten millimeters. Maybe maybe up to twenty for this example. That way, they're far enough apart to see them. And I'm going to switch over to part. What I'm going to do is create a ruled surface between these two sketches. Okay. So that creates basically a 2D face between those two sketches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in there and I'm take one of those the original sketch and I'm going to copy and paste it. For right now I'm going to hide that. We're going to come back to that in a bit. Then I'm going to take and copy this one. Control C. Yes, I want to copy everything. Control V. And let's move that. I'll move it negative 50. Well, 150. Until they're separate, so we can see both of them. Now, right now, these are not 3D printable objects. Um, I'm going to get rid of the. I'll hide the two sketches. So they're all seeing the surfaces. Hopefully. Oh boy. Now, there are different ways to create a 3D object on this. The reason I've used a S curve here to, for this example is it's a really complex object and depending on how you try to make it into a 3D object, you'll find there's different problems with doing it. So, so first object, I'm going to take First ruled 
surface and I'm going to try to extrude we're going to say create solid and I'm going to say I want 5 millimeters but I'm going to say I want this in the Y axis so it's coming kind of towards us right now and the reason I don't sit there and hit apply is it will when you hit apply and then you say okay it's going to make two extrudes so it's better just to go ahead and hit okay now do you see what happened here where it came around the cur curves if we switch over to the top view it's now empty this is usually a problem with self intersecting geometry so that extrude fails then we have our other ruled surface and I'm going to try to do a uh, offset and now for this one it might actually work fill offset and let us say 5 say ok wires must be closed ok so that created an input error I'm not sure why okay so that that's not gonna work <laughs> And then you could also take it and try to create a thickness. Okay, sorry. Select all the faces and say create a thickness. Like the shape is not a solid, so that one's not probably going to work. So thus it failed that way and that way. So in this situation, what you might be able to get away with, I'm going to hide both of these. I'm going to bring that other sketch that I hid before. Up. What you might be able to get away with in this situation is trying a sweep instead. So let's go back to part design. We're going to create a sketch. I'm going to create it in the XZ plane. And we might have to move the sketch around. But we can just create a And what did I say? That was 25. And then this was supposed to be 5, right? Okay. Close that. Now the tricky part is going to be trying to make sure that that cube that we just made, or that box, is positioned so it's touching the other sketch. Mm -hmm. 
As long as it's touching the sketch. So we'll go to part. And we're going to use the sweep. And what we're sweeping is the last sketch. We're going to say create solid. I don't know if Frenet will help or not. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then you want to click the other sketch and say OK. So thus you've turned the sketches into more of a part that you expected. Now sometimes depending on how they connect together, like, like my segments, they can overlap and do really weird funky things, but in this situation it's better than trying to use the extrusion or the, the offset or the thickness to get your part. This here is a 3D printable part. You can take the sweep, you can go file, export. I'm just going to call this squiggly. As long as it's an STO, I always suggest checking the file in NetFab before you try to 3D print it. I suggest doing this to anything you download to, from Thingiverse or Pinshape or any of those other sites too, just in case. Uh, squiggly. Uh, there's a problem. So let's try the repair. Automatic repair. Execute. That's probably where the two overlapped for some reason during the sweep. Move old part. Mm, part. Export part. It's STO. Let's just say save. And that should be 3D printable. So thank you for watching. Um, I guess I should save the file if I want to keep it. Should do that before exporting it. And thank you for watching, and I hope that helps you understand the differences between trying to use the extrude, the offset, the thickness, and how sometimes it may be easier just to use a sweep to create the actual part.